guys and welcome to this DVD spotlight on a region one set of Legion of Superheroes volumes one through three. Now the show was released in 2006 and ran for two seasons and it was uh, based on uh, characters from the comics and also the creators of Justice League Unlimited cartoon series and also uh, model similarly to the Teen Titans original cartoon series. So let's go ahead and take a look. So these are volumes one through three and each uh, release contains about four episodes. The last volume contains five, which makes up the 13 episodes of season one. So here's a look at the cover. Here's a look at the side. And then here's a look at the back cover. And it also shows uh, the different episodes. Uh, that's volume one. Here's volume two with four episodes. Here's a side profile. And then here's the back, and it shows a uh, list of episodes. And the remaining volume three, which actually contains five episodes, uh, which I'm glad they decided to just uh, finish out the season instead of just having it for like the previous two. And then you'd be missing that one episode to have uh, season one. And here's a look at the side. And then here's a look at the back. Now, I do have some gripes about this, these uh, releases, actually. Um, Warner Brothers, they tend to uh, repackage a lot of their releases. And these were actually only released in these separate volume sets. And this definitely needs uh, an overhaul. It needs to be um, compiled into one set instead of having just these three volumes. They've done it plenty of times with other, other volumes. And I just don't understand why they don't just uh, finally just do it for this one. Just to give you an example of what I'm referring to, this is a look at the set that they did for Young Justice, which was the first three volumes, which made up part one of season one. So you see how it actually shows the covers of each individual volumes and it lists uh, the volume numbers. And then on the back, it gives you pictures of those volumes and it shows you the episodes. Now they never did release a proper season one, part one. They decided, I guess, not to spend any more money since these volumes are already compiled in this one set. And then they released a separate uh, volume containing the remaining episodes of the season, uh, which I think was considerate of them, uh, considering how many of the fans bought uh, this set and it would have just been double dipping to buy another set since then they've also uh re-released this same set with a different cover and that's my point exactly if you're going to do this for young justice which is a great show why not do it for legion of superheroes which is a cool show in its own right and then that way you won't have these separate volume sets taking up space so um there is one other bit of information. Um, when I brought these, uh, I, I brought them together. They were sold together and they were actually uh, shrink wrapped together, but they actually had this uh, insert that was covering it. So if you were to order it, it kind of looks like this would be the cover, but it's actually not the cover. But what I like is if you've seen my uh, videos, you know that I like to compile or you know recreate the cases so which what i have the option of doing is actually inserting this into this standard case and you would just slide it in which i can't do since i'm actually holding the phone but you just slide that in there and then that way i can actually put the three volume disc inside this case and have this set with the three volumes all together in one slim case now the reason why i haven't done it is mostly because um, the episode list that are that are actually shown on the back of each volume. So whenever it's like that, it shows details of the episodes. I tend to just keep it in the original packaging because I am a fan of artwork. And even though I'm actually uh, I'm changing the packaging, I like to have it look as, uh, as official as possible. So since I'd be missing the episode list, I decided to just go ahead and keep it in the original three separate volumes which is taking up space just because of that, that reason alone. But had they not had the episode list, then I would have just gone ahead and just changed it and just left it in this 
single case with the new artwork. Now, uh, one other bit of information is they never released season two, which I think is uh, better, my favorite of the two seasons of Legion of Superheroes, uh, which uh, contains a clone of Superman who goes by the name of Kal-El. That's how they uh, distinguish between Kal-El, who's Clark, and then the clone of him. And this guy has like a really super cool suit and everything. And if you pay attention to volume three, there's also like a little hint of Kal-El there, even though they never released uh, volume two, I'm sorry, season two on DVD. So it's kind of bittersweet because here, here he is the character, they're kind of hinting at him, you can barely see, but yet they haven't actually gone around to releasing season two on DVD yet. They have, however, released season two to iTunes and also it's available to view on Amazon.com. So those last 13 episodes would be awesome. I mean, you have shows like um, Willie and the Chopper Bunch and all these other old Hanna-Barbera Warner uh, titles being released through Warner Archives, but yet for whatever reason, they're not releasing Legion of Superheroes season two. I don't get it because it, it seems like all the fans that of this show, uh, they would, you know, want to make that money and just final, you know, release the whole series series so it can be available in physical format. I have, however, uh, found an unofficial uh, complete season two set um, online. And as you can see, there's uh, kal the clone of Superman, pictured front and center. And a lot of the characters from the first season are the have grown a bit. Their costumes have changed. So they've evolved a lot. I also like how Brainiac um, looks in this series. So here's an unofficial complete season two. And then this awesome artwork. Whoever did this, they did a phenomenal job. The artwork is just like fantastic. And then it shows all of uh, the episodes, my favorite being uh, the man from tomorrow, the man from the edge of tomorrow, parts one and two, which introduces kal -El. And if you look closely, you can see Cal and Kel together and you can see his awesome co costume. And uh, you can also see Brainiac and Lightning Lad and a few others. So thanks for watching this video on Legion of Superheroes, uh, Region 1, Volumes 1 through 3. Uh, please leave comments for me or like my video and have a good one.